brain chips in 50 people to cure depression, blindness, and paralysis. The chip, known as NeuroPort Array, is manufactured by BlackRock Neurotech. Hey, guys, you want to sign up for the new BlackRock b- brain chip? You want BlackRock to have a device implanted in your brain? Well, you can now if you live in Utah. BlackRock's device attaches to 96 arrays, small needle-shaped brain chips that decipher and stimulate electrical signals generated by somebody's thoughts. Recipients of the NeuroPort Array chip are also able to control prosthetic limbs and wheelchairs, play video games, and feel sensations. The signals produced by the thoughts are decoded by machine learning software and digital commands used to control prosthetics and computer equipment. The implant can be placed anywhere on the surface of the brain. Multiple devices can be placed in the same person's brain, the Daily Mail reports. After implementation, the chip detects electric uh, signals generated by the wearer's thoughts. Machine learning software decodes these into digital commands, such as cursor movements, which can then be used to control prosthetics and computer equipment. The first chip was implanted in a human's brain in 2004. Approximately 50 people since then have been implanted with BlackRock's brain device. Yet another situation where it's like, on one side, kind of cool, kind of cool. I mean, you know, if you're an amputee, if you've lost your arm or maybe were born without an arm or a leg, if you could have a, an arm that's mechanical but controlled by your brain, I think, I think that's kind of cool. I think that's pretty cool. What it's going to be used for, however, will be brain surveillance where they'll be able to track your brain waves in order to determine your thought process. So we're going to move beyond free speech. Free thought is going to be illegal in a very real way. And also the other way that it will be used, as it has been used, and they've had the technology to do this since at least the 1960s. See, now it's more sophisticated. They're reading brain waves and then decoding them through machines. Back then it was just shock this part of the brain, dopamine released. (laughs) Step one, shock brain. Step two, you're happy, right? And they've had this forever. And again, we go back to that same interview with Aldous Huxley and Mike Wallace, where he talks about this and says this will be used as a way to make people happy when they shouldn't be happy. In other words, you're sitting there doing something utterly miserable that you should despise with every fiber of your being, but your brain is sending you hormones and electric, electrical signals saying you're having a great time. You're having a blast. You're in love with that person that you should hate. You, you revel and, and find joy in menial tasks. They can remove part of your brain to make you not believe in God and to welcome immigrants more. That's the next step of the brain interface. And it's no wonder it's being led by organizations like BlackRock. Chip in your brain, folks. It's time we put a stop to all of this before it's too late. All right, welcome back, folks. On the first segment of this show, we played a little clip I'd, a couple clips I'd spliced together from WEF, the the World Economic Forum and the the Davos meeting. And I'll find the video. I couldn't find it during the break. I'll find it after the show. And so when we upload that that last uh, segment where I'm talking about the brain chips, I'll add in a Davos presentation where they're extremely excited about being able to monitor your brain waves as an employee. The whole thing is like, your boss will be able to tell when you're tired or slacking off because we'll be reading your brain waves. We'll be, t- be able to tell you if an announcement made you happy or sad because we're going to have direct insight into your brain activity. And they're very excited about it. So again, just like all the, all the stuff that they do, whether it's the 15-minute cities or the brain chips, you know, they're going to come out going, hey, this helps disabled people. This helps, you know, People live full lives, and you go, well, that's good. that sounds nice, doesn't it? Doesn't it sound nice having your, your grocery store a short walk away? And sure, that'd be nice. But it's concealing the true intention of all of this, which is to create a class of humans that are literally incapable of understanding that their lives are being destroyed. It's completely insane.